here that are vastly different from DIs. But we're going to fr frozen gates. Let's go. <laughs> so good. The what? visuals, top notch. But the Rano play is going to need to be on point just as much as it is the Silvanos. If whoever wants to get into a top eight qualifier, starting off pretty strong so far. And I love that dash attack. It happens so often in tech scenarios where you see the tech in, you instant dash attack and you blow them up for it. Yeah, Solo is able to get so much damage off of those burst interactions. And what I'm more concerned about. Ooh! is the following along in those interactions off stage because if Hen is off stage but not by her own accord, that's where you get Rano just running over you. And especially if Lucius opts to play at his peak, which is where he's at his most patient, he's at his most controlled, the needles can harass Sylvanas till the cows come home. I, I want to see him get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more offensive when it comes to their recoveries, like that right there. Not in that case because it did get properly punished, but Ooh, you can yo. get the, you can get some attacks on. And if you're trying to let uh, Lu uh, Lucius walk all over you with this movement, then you're gonna get hard punished. You have to find more diverse ways to get back onto stage against someone who can be as patient as Lucius. Like on top of that, but a lot of Sylvanas' control when it comes to how to direct where the battle is going and also where to slow your movement is predicated a lot on grass control and flower control, both of which Rhino doesn't really need to respect. Oh, no jump. You needed to up east or a little bit sooner into the wall, but I mean, it puts you in a terrible spot either way. As, uh-oh. No! He's wobbled. <laughs> he almost got wobbled. As, that was almost an insane chase. Gets the forge strong anyway. Trying to set up flowers and goes for the forward air. Pe uh, peppering back and forth, altering the bubble, but just missing the strong. Oh, the wait! Because they knew the parry was coming. But didn't pull the trigger on the down strong. Normally, that's the uh, Sylvanas' quickest, uh, quickest strong attack to punish. You'd be correct, but I think they needed more damage in order to really seal the deal. They can overextend even a little bit, because look what Lucius is able to get off of one stray interaction. It's true. Complete but... unmitigated Ooh. control, but punished by the back air. Dead to rights from that pin, but needs a strong string in order to get something going here. Drag downs are available at these low percents, but they are equally available for Lucius if he can find something into up air or up strong or forward air as the strong as the sour spot comes in and closes out game one. In this business, we prefer to use alternative forward air. Okay, you yeah. know, we, we're, we're getting a little bit alternative rock in this moment, but it's okay because Look we can that. watch the frog freak and we can watch these two try and get something going here as we're going to Swampy Estuary, alternate stages only to, co to pair it with our alternative hitboxes. <laughs> Speaking of right off the bat, forward air is uh, Sour Hit manages to send out, build up a decent amount of damage, all before Hen could even really get anything set up. Although, a little bit of grass control is making for some swaggy damage, picks up very nice, and Flowers do such a good job of being able to control where you're DI'ing, because you, for the most part, if you know how to get out of Sylvanos combos, you're okay. But if a Sylvanos is aware that your movement is going to be that slippery, there's so many ways that I can just get in that extra hit or reset to a new combo. And speaking of... Oh, this stage is mine. I, you committed to an edge guard, and suddenly I'm right back and in for the punish. And doing uh, doing a good job with tenacity, which can be uh, one of Solanus' strongest traits. Finding ways back to stage are very many, as long as you have access to a wall and a, a double jump. Lucius is good tech there in order to avoid the offensive mix-up. The full hop nair won't do it, but the back air certainly will. That button does numbers. It does. Right on back number. <laughs> Although, all things considered, this isn't a very like swing heavy game. This is a very even momentum between for sure. both players. And I did not expect that to be an outcome from neutral from either of these players. Yeah, it feels like Lucius is starting to hang back a little bit when it comes to some of their offense, doing a whole lot more uh, full hop neutral airs and letting the button linger, as opposed to early game where he was doing a lot of falling, uh, falling fares and falling nares, uh, falling up airs, excuse me, off of these uh, top platforms. These pot drop aerials do a ton of work, and so do reads like that, but he misses the up strong. All right, Hen trying to press an offensive, but Lucius finding just a way to slip through. 
interesting howl there. Not getting any advantage off and instead just removing so much grass. Here comes a flower. Letting the flowers linger in the air is actually a really good call from Hen as well. Just as Lucius has been able to control space with how long neutral air just sticks around, occupying airspace and forcing Rhino to commit to either just getting hit or adjusting trajectory can be a huge burden, but Lucius is fighting through it and manages to find the stock lead. Extended hits off of Bubble. We just love it. We just, love it. We are just messing with Bubble now. Like we, we hate this player too that has somehow spawned in the game. Stage hazards are often competitive play. Yeah, we're this in Opus mode. Tossing back up, missing the pin, but has access to so many flowers on stage in the nearby vicinity. How is online, but that parry, oh! but he misses the dash attack. He still gets a pretty hefty punish. All the same, though. How? No, how? No. Just going for a down tilt and just trying to force to the other side. All right. Oh, that time trying to read a roll as he was just in the right spot to where there was no grass. Dude, how does she return? She may not. Oh, it gets caught in the uh, the late hit of up special, allowing him to get back to get Ooh. that dive and to get the up air afterward, using that as a, a potential kickstarter for something more. If it not for spike fair, up air hit fall up strong. That was Rano. such a smooth interaction. Like, watch the way that Lucius moves through all of this. First of all, broke a flower to start things off. That helps with mitigating any further grass control if Hen survives. Gets the hit, gets the hit fall. It was full hop fair that still hit Silvanos on ground. Alternative for this. Alternative. <laughs> Crazy. Where are we so going? Lucius, what happened? We're out the King's Court. Like forward air. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's for, we're forward air champing over here. It's <laughs> well, actual fair champs. <laughs> All right, well, Hen's got one last lifeline before uh, its curtains, and uh -oh. right now it's not looking so hot. While Lucius is managing to rack up so much damage so quickly, and covering full stage, the benefits of a smaller stage for Rano. While you can scrap with him a little bit more and cover a lot more, a lot of stage a lot easier with your grasp, uh, you give Rano to what, it, what is usually a half screen command grab. It's now a full screen command grab. It doesn't help the fact that Sylvanas is also just longer. That's true. <laughs> Shorter, so you, but longer. Yes. So you do get the opportunity to cover that space if it's safer. You wouldn't really get that luxury in most matchups. Come on, boy. Long boy indeed. That spirit of the forest, long. Long. Long, but not out yet. Yeah, like, Hen is still finding ways to scrap, although close range scrapping with Rano is not a very favorable position to be in. Yeah, you need to try and consume with some more of that stage, but staying grounded against Lucius has been so hard. He's found so many tools that have been used to pop up and out instead of just keeping things horizontal. Because when you have it's you're contesting with Rano's pretty solid uh, air falling aerials. But you do find the combo off the reset from the platform. It would convert that into another up air. Ooh. Yo, the little list of grass converting into some base damage. Pretty good. It's no, I like the momentum shift from Hen. Like, trying to keep the pedal to the metal, I think, is actually a really good call against the likes of Lucius. Because look how comfortable he's been in the past two games where he's been able to control the tempo of the game to be at that slower rate where he gets to burst. He gets to say when neutral starts and stops. That up to doing a good job of setting up multiple anti airs, but doesn't get the falling there in time as Hen is back on the ground and back where they want to be. Missing the same combo he used to end game two, and instead has to hold that attempted recovery into a back air of their own. Lucius holding steady with this lead, though it has been trimmed down immensely from Hen's efforts into an oh. even game. The fact that Hen put so much effort into moving that bubble and then reading where Lucius eventually popped out just goes to show that you need to be cognizant of the bubble, not hyper-focus on it, but make sure that that Rano doesn't have, you know, the cleanest of says in what they're doing. You can't let Rano just run the program on you. Yeah, with his frame dead already being so immensely powerful that you can, you have to use some of that against him. Like the, his lack of disjoints compared to <gasps> Silvanos, usually having that advantage, but Rano, when he's in your house, does not want to leave. And that back air will close out no matter how good your DI was. Though I think this 
was cat this caught hen uh diing out a little yeah, bit that, that little di bit late. yeah this it was just too little too late on that one maybe down and out trying to get on the platform and tech away that's what i'm thinking she yeah. may have preemptively been preparing to position onto the platform so to find close. a counter offensive to and to hen's credit like she was trying to find that counter offensive very oh, sure. frequently, and you could cash in big on Rano if you find Rano overextending. The problem is, in that matchup, you have to be very choosy. Right. Sylvanas does not have those close in buttons to like really say, "All right, my turn to play. You played too long." Like you have to wait for that opportunity. And Hen having to match Lucius's aggression when he was, you know, saying when to go, it it's hard for Sylvanas.